everyone, welcome back to the channel. And it is fall time, so we are doing a fall landscaping job. Well, we're actually doing the demo part of the landscaping job today. And we're going to be taking out some bushes with the brand new to Rit X. This is the 303 uh, Caterpillar Mini Excavator. So we are just going along here and ripping out all these bushes. Uh, these people contacted me uh, about a week prior to this. And I guess their prior lawn care service provider kept saying he was going to tear these bushes out and redo their landscaping and hasn't done it for over a year, I think she said. So, or somewhere around in there, don't quote me on that time frame. But, uh, so, we told her we could come in and get it tore out. Uh, hopefully, we normally would have this job done in a couple of days, but we've had some rain weather. Uh, I've had mowing to get caught up on and the weekend so we are going to be um, <clears throat> heading back over there this coming Monday to finish this project so you will see that video coming out later uh, but we have picked up this lawn as well uh, so that's awesome one job led to a new lawn so I'm super happy and super pumped for that also want to give a big shout out to 811. Uh, they uh, were there finishing up the locate as we just started. Uh, we knew where the lines were. Uh, there is a power line and a uh, consolidated cable coming in there on the other side of the house, which wasn't interfering with any of our area. Uh, but he was running a little bit late uh, from the 48 hour time frame. Uh, so we just basically, once he kind of started locating stuff there, and pretty much told us where it was we went ahead and started uh, ripping out bushes so I hope you enjoy the two different uh, camera angles we have here we have the GoPro mounted up on a magnet mount inside the uh, excavator and then we have the uh, Sony CV E10 uh, mounted up on the tripod from a different angle so hope you enjoy is there any dirt on the root ball uh, yeah, so. let me shake it off I do want to say these bushes were a tough cookie, even for the mini X, uh, to rip them out. Some of them came out easy, some of them gave us a little challenge, but we got them out. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to my buddy Zach, he brought his uh, little skid steer out and was taking the stuff from uh, after me dumping it there on the ground and loading it up in a dump trailer and hauling it off. So he's been a fantastic help here to the business and to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done so, go check out his uh, channel. He has Zach's vlogs. I will link that in the description below. Uh, make sure you go check him out. Uh, he's got some pretty cool stuff on his channel uh, as well. So make sure you go hit subscribe on his channel and show him some love.
power. Look at that! I hate those things for the fashion. A lot of these plants were in pretty good shape, but overgrown. There were some trees growing in here, which I hate these trees. These are mulberry trees. Uh, they are a pain in the butt. Uh, if you do not take care of them when they are little and get them pulled out of your flower beds, they will evade and take over. Um, there is a uh, downspout you see there. We are going to be replacing those for her uh, and her husband. They have got some that have been just in bad shape. Uh, so she's going to get some new and she talked to us before we even started the job about replacing some because a couple of them around the house have been ran over by a lawnmower from the previous uh, lawn care provider and she wants to get those fixed. Uh, the downspouts were actually trenched in and buried under the ground but for some reason those have plugged up and are no longer draining uh, water so I talked to her about possibly replacing those and fixing them and she wasn't too concerned about that she just wants to put regular downspouts down so we're going to get those fixed up for her uh, we did go ahead uh, I think off camera and take the uh, downspout down and out of the way uh, so that we can till that all up and grade it get it ready for uh, fabric and new rock which will be in the next video so make sure you hit subscribe and stay tuned uh, it also was super chilly. It was in the low uh, 40s, if not upper 30s, uh, this morning uh, of us doing this. So uh, that's why I'm wearing coveralls, because it was kind of chilly. But by 11.30 noon, it warmed up enough I could start shedding clothes. Because uh, that's kind of how fall is. You'll put a bunch of clothes on in the morning, and by noon, you're shedding back down to it jeans and t-shirt. <laughs> Now this bush was kind of tricky because there is the downspout there and there is the uh, concrete porch. So I had Zach there kind of guiding me uh, to get the bucket in front of the porch and around the bush so that we could extract Good. that uh, from the landscape area, which ended up being really easy once I got latched onto her and uh, pulled straight up. It just pretty much came right out of the ground. here another kind of tricky uh, dig we got the uh, house right there and trying to get these uh, little trees out uh, it's quite the challenge but uh, not not too bad a challenge for a guy like me I've 
I've done a lot of these close digs and close pulls. Uh, a few of these bushes uh, over here on the other side of the house, uh, we dug up one and then we end up tying a chain to the rest of them because uh, we didn't want to disturb the ground too much, uh, if all possible, so we didn't have too much to fix. So we just wrapped a chain around them and the bucket was actually kind of almost too big uh, to get into the uh, area to get the bush pulled out because there's some uh, landscape edging there. Uh, they have a small uh, landscape area on the side of the house where you see the other trees and bushes there. Uh, so uh, we ended up just tying a train chain to those and pulling those out with that. that we are pulling out are called a boxwood. I believe they're the, called the uh, green gem boxwoods. They're nice, but they do put off an odor that kind of smells like pet urine or cat urine or something. I don't know if that's some sort of defense mechanism that it does to keep deer and stuff from eating on them, but uh, I don't recommend boxwoods around the house just because they smell and I mean maybe around a tree or something or something away from your house, but uh, I, don't, I don't like boxwoods. They're okay because they stay green all year round, but I think there's other ways that you could spice up your landscaping. And uh, here you can see us using the chain with the bucket to be able to uh, rip these bushes out. We did have a gas line here real close, so we didn't want to dig, uh, but the uh, locator told me how deep the gas line was, and uh, being using a chain would probably be the easiest way to get the bushes out instead of digging. So that's what we done. Oh, uh, 
foot coming down there. I've noticed about using this new 303 cat mini X is it seems like trying to pull bushes out it's a little maybe underpowered. A couple of these bushes we actually just had to tie the chain and back the excavator up uh, to get the bush to come out. Uh, so I don't know that if you have one of these or if you use one of these drop a like, comment in the description or the uh, comments below let me know what you think about the uh, excavators. But that's going to do it for bush ripping out. Uh, and demo we have uh, taken rock out and are getting ready to start the process of putting things back and making it look great again so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I want to give a big shout out again to Zach there in the skid steer and a uh, long long friend uh, his name is Nathan as well uh, he helped uh, out on this day and I believe he's going to help out on the uh, setting stuff back in so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe stay tuned for part two and we'll see you guys in the next one